I'm obsessed with my guest tonight. I, I think he's the funniest man on the planet. In fact, he plays a planet called Jiminy Glick on Comedy Central. <laughs> a new season of Primetime Glick starts February 23rd. Please welcome Martin Short. Marty. Uh, I just want to give you a view. Marty Shore. Dennis Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I always feel that second jump up is sure. important to let them know that I love the love they're giving me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not ashamed of it. I'm not. I, I thrive. You need on it. it. I need it. I need it all day long. Mm -hmm. How are you, Dennis? Groovy. Yeah. What's new? So your show's based on sports tonight? <laughs> <laughs> is that the theme, baby boy? Yes, it is. Well, Jerry, suck the lodging. <laughs> <laughs> Dean and I used to play racquetball sometimes before we broke up. <laughs> Gee, these socks don't work. Huh? They just they don't work. Well, one's, uh, no, they're both no, black. No, yeah, but it's the wrong color. I could have gone hipper. Look uh, at me. Oh, sorry. Look at these shoes. Those are new. Huh? Hey, you've made money. For <laughs> <laughs> what are you worth now? Oh, Marty, you, uh, you didn't want to know. 25,000 bucks, I bet. Exactly. <laughs> and a good dental plan. Yeah. Now, um, That's all you need. No, I know your one son, Ollie. I've played hockey with him. Yeah, he's Amazing good. Amazing hockey Yeah, really player. good hockey What about player. your other kids? They, uh, They're what? all good. They're all very athletic, my children. They're all very good. And, and, uh, but Oliver is the one who's played hockey since he was five years old. And do you shepherd him through that process? Well, I mean, I, what choice do I have? You get up at five in the morning, and, and you drive, and you go Where to the Where do you drive to? <clears throat> well, it's been all over. Somet sometimes, you know, you drive to San Diego. Sometimes you drive about three hours to a game. Sometimes you drive five hours. And there is an obsession. I think hockey parents are probably more obsessive than any sport because you have to drive so far. So you're putting so much commitment. So, you know, it's, it's, so you're sitting there and there's, you know, the 300-pound woman with the ding-dong screaming, Check him, Ryan! Check him! That's not check on him! And I'm sitting there, you know, because I've just gotten in about an hour before, because I love, you know, to carouse. Yeah. And uh, it's rough sometimes. <laughs> and the people, and the guys, you know, the guys are, you know, I may have failed in life, but you're not gonna. You know, and the kids hate it. I think the kids, I say to Oliver, do, you, do, do, do the kids like their parents screaming at them? And of course they don't. What's your approach to Ollie? I sit there and I say, Oliver, you were fabulous. Oliver, you were great. Right, because yeah. that's the, what else are you here for? You know what? I mean, I think the reverse, you know, the kids should be allowed to come down to the parents' place of work and start screaming at them and how they're doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, let the kid come into the operator. You call that a suture? That's not a suture. <laughs> now sew it up. Good eye. You know, you know who wants that as you, when you're trying to operate? <laughs> now, I have you, you have an amazing sense of uh, ethics. I admire your ethics. If you saw a parent berating their child. And I know that's sort of like verboten to go in there, but if they were really riding their kid hard, would you say anything or would you back off? Uh, it would depend on how big the parent was. <laughs> <laughs> if the parent was, let's say, Smaller. a famous director, and I wanted uh, maybe a part in his movie, I'd say, hey, you listen to your dad, kid. <laughs> but if it was mini-me berating his kid, I'd step on him, I'd just squash him. How are you? No, I hate it. I mean, listen, you know, I mean, a kid, a, a father got killed by another father. This is, this creates a very intense reaction. And I am always amazed that, that people won't just let it go and let their kids play the sport and support them. Because the real idea is that you want to build men or women, but you don't want to, but, it, but there is an obsession, you know, uh, NHL, he's going to make it. Or he's, you know, the, the pro ball and it's 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 very involved by some of the parents how was your mom and dad with you did they uh, you're you're from canada did you play hockey when you were young uh we'd freeze the back rink mm -hmm. and then i'd go up to my bedroom and pretend you know to do an imaginary television show i didn't you know i i was completely <laughs> 
Right. So you wanted to be Don yeah, Cherry the, when you were exactly. <laughs> They'd be calling it Marty. You're, we've got new skates for you, and I'd be going weather wise, such a cuckoo day, <laughs> with a spoon, you know, and a, and a, a lamp, you know, giving because I even then I needed sure, lighting. Sure, you need your yeah. key light. <laughs> No, my, my, my siblings played, but I, I was just, you know, I had a contract. <laughs> yeah, to perform. Yeah. Now, um, as rational as you are, has there ever been a moment at one of your kids' games where maybe another kid hit him while playing hockey or anything that's driven you a little cuckoo where it came out of your mouth before you could, you know, hold it in and say, I should act rationally? Or do you ever, do you ever act irrationally? Um, no, I mean, sometimes... Uh... You know, sometimes if, if he, Ollie's playing well, I'll get drunk. Act again. <laughs> yeah. You know? In front of hey, the... Guy! Or sometimes I'll, you know, if, if it's a really important game, I'll come dressed as a character from the 80s, like Ed Grimley or something, you know? The kids love that when oh, the old they man love shows that. up. Well, the, I think the kids are... Ollie's proud when I show up as one of my beloved icon characters from, a, you know, another era. Start doing... <laughs> oh, Oliver, it's very decent seeing you in Marseille, you know? All of a sudden, uh, hair slick right up. You're Dennis Hopper in Hoosiers, <laughs> causing great consternation. <laughs> We've got a phone call for you, line one. It's Brian from Atlantic Beach, New York. Brian, hey guys. how you doing? How you doing, Brian? Great. I want to know what kind of obsessive parenting you think we're going to get when we start cloning. <laughs> well, it'll be cut by a half. <laughs> oh, no. Did he hey. say cloning? Yeah. Oh. Why? I, 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 Would you feel more uh, I'd try at ease joke, smacking your clone kid around than your regular kid? <laughs> <laughs> or would it be exactly the same as... No, I think if you, you feel... You'd hit the clone kid I capriciously, think if right? You, if you feel the urge, which, you know, we've all felt to just smack the kid a little couple times, I think you go with the clone kid mm -hmm. first, because he's, he's more of a... He's a, he's a clone. He's a clone, for yeah. God's sake. <clears throat> I mean, if I wanted to slap my real kid, I wouldn't have a clone, no. would I? Yeah. You try it out on little Xerox first. Absolutely. If Xerox <laughs> can, you know, if, here's the thing. You don't want them to bruise, because then you can be arrested. So if Xerox doesn't bruise, then you can hit the real kid. <laughs> See, this is um. lovely. <laughs> this is what Miles called a tangential riff. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Line four, we've got uh, Tim from Portland, Maine. Timmy? Hey, how you doing, Dennis? Good, I want to man. say really quick, I love your books, and Martin, your show on Comedy Central is great. Oh, thank you very much. What's that and show, Marty? Ask, wait, wait, wait Tim, I'm, we're doing a plug. What's that show, Marty? Oh, Dennis, I, first of all, I want to hear from Tim, but the show you're referring to <laughs> is called Primetime Glick. Oh. And I play Jiminy Glick, and I believe oh, you're on it this oh, yeah. season. Again, I want to get back to Tim, but you know, Saturday, February 23rd, 10 p.m., Comedy Central. How, what's going on, Tim? Well, <laughs> I just wanted to say, ask you guys, do you think that this uh, hockey dad is kind of an isolated incident, or have parents completely lost sight of what team sports are really all about? No, I think it's more prevalent than you'd yeah, think. I it's think just it this too. guy was the biggest and stupidest of the lot. And yeah. uh, he grabbed a little Paul Snyder guy from Star 80 and started beating the shit out of him. <laughs> well, I have seen, I have seen fights. I've seen fights. I mean, no one's ended up, like, you know, in that situation. But I've seen, I've seen fathers, what do you mean? That's not true. He was checking him. And you think, you know, the kids are off having fun, having a soda with each other. It's, it's, I think it's just this obsession with not letting the kids have their own time. And also to remember this idea that you're trying to build men and now, women. Now, up in Canada, were you a good athlete or were you uh, a, an asshole like me? I was a real asshole. You know, you've seen me skate. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like Louis Anderson at the you Olympics. All, I told I mean, you, you always, remind me, you always remind me of when uh, Mickey would take Pluto skating. <laughs> And he'd look That's over true. Pluto and he'd be on all fours. <laughs> Every time I look at you, you're falling down oh, on the skates. Dennis and I actually went skating uh, over the holidays, and uh, you weren't exactly, you know, Sonia Henny yourself. You were, <laughs> you were out of breath and you hadn't even laced up yet. I mean, you, you were a mess. 
What's, what is the big uh, football? Uh, see, we have football here. I've been announcing football for the last couple of years. Is, does the CFL mean anything up there in oh, Canada? Oh, now, wait a second. Don't make me arm wrestle you. Well, I just wonder if the Canada, I know they love hockey. I know they love, and by we, the way, I think the curling is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, I like it's, that sport. Especially if you get to sweep. No, I, <laughs> I, I, in Canada, you know, we only have, uh, uh, up until a couple of years, we had eight teams. In, in the, the CFL, football Canadian football The only league. trick was two were called Rough Riders. <laughs> totally true. Yeah, the, no, no longer. The Ottawa Rough Riders uh, are no longer a team. But up until like two years ago, there two were eight, eight teams. There were Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Ottawa Rough Riders. <laughs> so you could be passing a television and you would hear, Rough Riders 28, Rough Riders 7. <laughs> And somehow, as a Canadian, you'd understand. You'd say, gee, I, I feel badly for the Rough Riders, but I'm, like, real happy for the Rough Riders, eh? Now, as a Canadian, you likewise must be happy for uh, Pelletier and Salier? Or? Yeah, that Pelletier. Well, you know, that was... Actually, that shocked me. That really shocked me, because if the Olympics... Am I really naive? Are the Olympics fixed? Is that, like, old That's news? That's what they're saying there. They've got four people out there with gold medals now, two teams. But I'm hearing, like, the judge traded a vote. How, uh, is that judge going to go to jail or something? Well, the French judge was Don King. And I thought I... Well, I, I... <laughs> no, I, I mean, it, it makes me actually turn off the Olympics. I found it disgusting. Really? You know? Yeah, and by the way, I wasn't thrilled with, you know, Love, love Story was not necessarily no. the theme to skate that to. That was a bad choice. It was not a good film. Thank God. Uh, that... <laughs> But they did it beautifully, and, uh, and uh, you know, it was, no, it was sh I was stunned. I think everyone was. I'm glad that it's, I wish they took the other one away. All right. Now, did it, you might have been, we might have been trying to fake like we were being nice to Tim and cared about his life in Portland, Maine. Now he's not on anymore. You can really tell the people the important data. When's, when's the Glick start again? Oh, please, Dennis, enough with <laughs> Glick. And, and, and look, if February 23rd comes around and suddenly it's 10 and it's Comedy Central and you're watching Glick, so be it. <laughs> Marty Shard, ladies and gentlemen.